Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. But before going forward, if you have not liked the video, please like it, subscribe to my channel so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the problem is string to integer, very easy problem. Um, so let's see the what the problem is. We have to implement this uh, function which converts a string to a 32-bit signed integer. So these are the sum. These are some cases which we need to take care of. So first case is that we need to read and ignore the leading white space. So all the leading white spaces are which are there, we need to ignore them. Uh, for example, if we see the test case also. So if you see this test case, first of all, this test case is simple. We have 42. This is a string. We need to convert this 42 string into integer. So this will be 42 as 42 will be returned as output this is integer 42 now if you see this this point that we need to ignore the leading white space so if you see this test case it has some leading white spaces here so we need to ignore these white spaces so the output will be minus 42 this will be integer next point is check if the next character is mi uh, minus or plus read this character in if it is either this determines if the final result is negative or positive so oh, we have seen over here that if uh, if there is negative sign so the output will be a negative number if here it was positive like this if it has been written like this plus then the output we will return as uh, positive right so then we'll do like it will be 42 so I hope you understood this test case also. Let's let's see the other thing. So uh, the other one is that read in the next characters until non-digit character is reached. The rest of the string is ignored. Means we have to read the string until non-digit character is reached. Non-digit character will be a uh, like al alphabet, right? It will be alphabet. So we have to stop when we reach a alphabet. We, we should not like go after that. So if we see that along with the test case, let's see this test case. So in this one, we have 4193. This is a, all numbers. Then there is a white, uh, the, then we get this alphabet X. So when we reach our alphabet, we will stop here. So our output will be 4193. This will be our output. Now let's see uh, the fourth case. We have to also ignore so the, if no digits were read were read then the integer is zero right this we will see and if the uh, integer is out of the bounds then we need to return 2 raised to power 31 minus 1 for the positive and for min uh, negative we have to return int min this is int max and this is int min so now let's see over here if you see this test case here when we will start we will uh, like in the starting only we will find a alphabet we get a alphabet so we will know we will not go further in the when so because you know like over here it was written uh, that when a non digit character is reached just ignore the rest of the string so in the starting only we get a non non digit non digit character we get non digit so here we will stop and we will not consider the rest of the string so for this our answer will be zero nothing we had in our answer string in the answer we have nothing and if you see this test case this is uh, like uh, less than int min this is less than int min so this is out of bound so we will return int min i hope you understood what the problem is very simple problem we just need to take care of all these conditions so let's see uh, this with the test case let's take this test case we have uh, 4 1 2 3 and uh, then we have over here we have some leading space we have some leading spaces uh, two spaces and then we have uh, let's say a string so how we will handle this case see it's pretty simple just do one thing pause the video and think how we, you will apply all these conditions so what conditions we saw we saw these conditions that if there is empty space just simply ignore it check if there is my uh, negative check if it is a negative number also if it is a negative number we will take the sign 
and also uh, that uh, if the starting is only a, uh, whenever we reach a alphabet we will reach a alphabet we will break we will not go any further so just pause the video and think of a uh, like a, like write a pseudo code or algorithm how you'll approach the problem also i am just modifying this test case here it's minus also so let's let's see let's see how we will approach it so we have to check these cases that I, if there are any leading there are any leading white space leading white spaces if there are any leading white spaces we have to remove them just remove right then we have to check whether the sign will be there is sign if it is negative or if it is positive like over here it's negative and then we have to uh, traverse we will traverse the string traverse the string until until alphabet is reached until we get a alphabet alphabet and also along with this we will have a answer variable let's initialize it with zero this answer will store our number store the number like over here it will be minus four one two three store the number so these steps we are going to follow over here uh, uh, this let's take answer variable it will be zero answer variable and uh, let's start the traversal now so we will have a pointer we will have we will traverse this string let's take a variable i this will we will use to iterate through the string initially it will be at zero index let's do indexing zero one two three four five six seven eight and nine so now let's start first of all i will be here this is a we will see the white spaces white spaces will be there will be leading white spaces only now it's mentioned in the question leading white space so just run a loop in the starting just run a loop and remove all the white spaces we will find out the index at like at how much the uh, there are like how many white spaces are there like we will have a while loop we will go and we will check okay till this we had white spaces so we will do in c++ we can do sub we can use substring function and we can just get this substring this st string and we can store in in, in our st the whatever string variable we have so we can just simply remove these white spaces so let's say we have removed the white spaces and our i pointer is at four uh, is at minus one now it's at minus one so now see this sign we have done this thing leading white spaces are done we have used substring function for this in java you can use trim function there is a trim function which will remove all the leading white spaces so this is for java and this is for c++ now after that sign see sign will be always in the starting of a number if plus is there it will be starting in the starting of the number obviously it will not be in between na? in between of the number it doesn't make any sense so plus and minus will be in the starting of the particular number so after this after the uh, like after we have removed the white space this will be our string so just uh, i'll do one thing i'll again do the indexing so indexing will now be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so at the zeros index there will be either if there is negative we have to uh, our our whole answer will be negative number if it is positive then it will be positive number so what we will do we will check if s of 0 this is zero index now if it is negative if it has negative character means we will take a variable sign we will have a sign variable and if this is negative we will change the sign to minus one we will make it minus one and if it is positive s of zero then just make it one we will make it one so at last whatever our answer will be we will multiply that answer with the sign so if at last answer is 4123 we will multiply it with minus 1 and it will become minus 14 four, minus 4123 and if it is positive if the sign was positive then it will be multiplied by 1 so it will be the same number so this is our approach how we will handle the sign so let's say we have uh, handled the sign also so our sign in the sign variable we have minus 1 because here it was minus and i we will increment and it will reach the 
one index so i will become one now simply we will have a answer string uh, sorry answer variable in which we will we will see okay this is a digit so we will take it in our answer so answer will become four answer will become four now we will increment i i will become two we will see this is one also digit so we will do four into ten we will multi we have to because it this should be 41 na? so we have to multiply the current answer answer into 10 plus whatever the current character we have current character let's say s of i s of i and this s of i is a string this is uh, this is a character na? over here one is a character one is a character so we have to do we will minus we will do minus zero character so that this this s of i was character now this whole thing is an integer integer so answer into 10 answer was 4 we do 4 into 10 plus s of i was a character s of i is 1 1 minus this is a character and 1 minus 0 character so this will become 1 so 4 into 10 plus 1 this will become 41 so we will update our answer and it will become 41 so answer answer is now 41 right i will increment i will become 3 so again we get 2 we'll do the same thing uh, answer is equal to answer into 10 41 into 10 plus this will be integer so 2 so this will become 4 1 10 uh, sorry 4 1 0 plus 2 this will become 4 1 2 so answer will become 4 1 2 Again, I will increment. I will become 4. Same thing. Same procedure. Answer will become 4, 1, 2, 3. And then we will increment i and it will reach, it will be at index 5. Now, here we get a alphabet. This is not a digit. Not digit. So, whenever we get not, we, we, do, we get, an, uh, get an alphabet, it is not a digit. We will just break. We will break and this we will not iterate the further step because it was mentioned in the question that if you get a non-digit then just ignore the rest of the string so we are ignoring the rest of the string which is after this so uh, if you see now our answer after this answer has the number 4123 and what we will do we will multiply 4123 with the sign variable at last so that if the sign was minus 1 this will become minus 4, 1, 2, 3. So, this will be our output. Minus 4, 1, 2, 3. This was our uh, integer. So, I hope you understood the approach and the dry run, how we got to the solution. Now, let's see the code. Very easy if you understood the approach. We, have, we are just following the same steps. See. Um, this is the C++ code. Java code is uh, Java code is given in the description. You can check that also. C++ code. Uh, we are just checking whether the string is empty. If it is empty, just return zero, right? Then we are taking this i point uh, i variable. We will iterate through uh, through the string uh, on the string through this. And uh, this is the while loop to eliminate the white spaces. Uh, and then we are we are just finding the rest of the string. So this will be from i index to the last of string so how it's working or uh, like suppose over here we had um, this all these white spaces and then we had four uh, minus four one two three na, and then the string so all these will be removed i will reach here and then we will do substring so substring means from i index till the last of the string this will substring this substring we will get and we will update our s so s will become this now so s we have updated and uh, then we are taking sign variable initializing it with plus one as of now answer variable and then what we are doing if the current s of zero is minus means just change sign to minus right and then we are taking these two variables max and min, int min, int max. And we are just uh, 
updating our i variable because if see if there is a sign if there was a sign at s of 0 then we have to start our iteration from index 1 see over here all it was minus uh, na, at 0th index so we have to start from 1 index but let's say if there was this this was there uh, like this was not there then this 4 will be at 0 in zero th index so we have to start traversal from the 0th index only so we are just checking if there was a sign start from index 1 otherwise start from index 0 and then we are uh, traversing so if we get a empty space anywhere or we do not get a digit then we will break means if we get an empty space or we get an alphabet just break and this is we are calculating the answer and if in case answer is a minus if the sign was negative and the answer is less than minus uh, min just return min otherwise return max if it is uh, if it the answer is greater than max so and otherwise just return i uh, just increment i at last we will be returning uh, converting to integer and returning sign into answer sign into answer just make sure that over here answer you are taking long because it might happen that over here uh, since it's becoming greater than see it's becoming greater than the max na int max value so we have to take this as long if we take this is that uh, this as int na then it will break here so i hope you understood the problem and the code let's discuss the time complexity for the code so the time complexity is o of n as we are traversing the string and the space complexity is o of 1 we are not taking any extra data structure we have taking just variables i hope you understood the problem and the approach if you have uh, if you have any doubts let me know in the comments if you like the video please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you